Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You truly is a blessing to be in the house this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for his goodness, his mercy this morning. Yes. Thank you for his love and kindness. Hallelujah. Don't you love Jesus? Yes. Today? Hallelujah. How many come to receive something of Glory the Lord this morning? Amen. Hallelujah. He's here to be our everything need. Hallelujah. You just reach out to him. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on and give him a good and clap of praise this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I know with you and know, but that's okay. Amen. Amen. Come on and give Jesus some praise. Hallelujah. Glad we're in the house this morning. Hallelujah. Like they said, I was glad they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a blessing every time. Hallelujah. We're able to enter in. Hallelujah. Come on and give Jesus a good and clap of praise. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Just reach down and touch the Lord as He goes by. You will find He's not too busy to hear your heart's cry. Of all the praise, the honor, and the glory. 
because it belongs to Jesus. Yes. Don't you love him today? Yes. Do you really love him today? Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on and put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Come in and come with him on your mind this morning. Woke up with him on your mind. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you Lord. Will you see me coming? Got him on my mind. Will you see me coming? I said, will you see me coming? You know I've got you so my mind. Oh, will you see me coming? I said, will you see me coming? I said, will you see me coming? Say when you see me giving praise, you know 
and what he's going to do for you. Thank you, Lord. So if anybody got a testimony they want to share, a song they want to sing, come on. Come on, praise him. You got a testimony? Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I just want to thank Jesus this morning. Thank Amen. God for the pastor. Yeah. Uh, a few weeks ago, my family, everybody in the house had COVID. You know, they say animals can get it. The dog probably had it. <laughs> everybody had it. And you know, they say the doctors tell you to be uh, diagnosed with anything pre existing. You don't want it because it'll kill you. I'm here to tell you this morning that the devil is alive. Amen. Amen. God is real, church. Yeah. 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 God is real. Yeah. I thank you. Y'all pray my strength. Amen. Oh my God, it hurt so bad. 
And uh, when I found out I was going to have a driver, you know, you know, the devil, he always come to steal, kill, and destroy. So he first put it in my mind, you know, well, you know, you get out in that cold weather, you know, that, that, that tooth hurt and that cold air strike. And you know how the devil just, just talk to your mind. Glory to God, if he can get in your mind, if he can get in your head, and you let him stay in there long enough, you don't put the word on him, he's going to get in your heart. And when he get in your heart, that's going to serve him. But glory to God, you know, and after he couldn't get me what, you know, he said, well, you know, you just ought to stay at home. And I thought to myself, I said, now, I know who this is. And you ain't fixing to defeat me. Because greater it lives on the inside. Amen. And when the Lord saved me, church, glory to God, he said he gave me, he gave me some tools. Amen. Hallelujah. And they that know that God is going to be strong and do explode. Yeah. Glory to God, I got some tools to push back the devil with. Jeez. Hallelujah. You Thank got you. tools to push him back today. Yeah. Hallelujah. God. God has given us his word. Amen. It's written. Hallelujah. Amen. If we go by what's written on the viper, hallelujah, we are making it into heaven. Amen. Glory to God. And I begin to tell the devil, I said, Satan, I know who you are. I rebuke you. Get behind me, Amen. Satan. I will go to church today. Amen. I will lift up the Amen. Jesus in me. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. And as I come on in here, yeah, a Sunday, hallelujah, my, 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 my tooth was hurting. Glory to God. And before Pastor went on her knees, I, glory to God, she laid hands on him. Glory to Jesus. And by the end of Sunday service, by the time Sister Faye had got through singing, hallelujah, oh my God, it was gone, church. Glory. It was gone.
Tucker, Georgia, on a, on a Wednesday. I got to Georgia. I probably, I made it to Georgia. I probably, can't remember where I was at, but I made it a half of, about an hour and a half where I had to deliver the load. Uh, laid down that Wednesday night, got up that Thursday morning, and left out about 6 a.m. headed to my delivery. All of a sudden, about 30 minutes in my ride, I started feeling real cold. Like my heater wasn't working in my throat. So as I got closer and closer, I said, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight to get this load off so I can get paid. As I got closer and closer, the worse I felt. Pulled in and finally made it to where I had to deliver the load. And I said, I'm gonna put my coat on, and it was raining. I said, I don't wanna start shaking in front of the people because they might reject my load. So I went, gave them the paperwork, and they were slow about delivering, you know, getting folks loads off, so I was like, that's good, I could get in the back and lay down. So I got in the back, Got back to my truck, got in the back, laid down, started throwing up real bad. Guy came knock on my door probably an hour or so later. Pull up. So I pulled up to the car, got in the back, laid down again. Two weak folks called me, two weak answers the phone. Long story short, finally got in. I strapped my load, and I got back in my truck, and my brother called. Butcher always called. So he called, and I answered the phone, I said, Butcher, call this bitch. Let him know. Then I won't, I can't get there no more. I got the rest, man. I ain't know what's going on. Long story short, Satan ended up calling me. Chris, you need to call the uh, ambulance, get you, call the ride, get you to the hospital. The 
plant manager ended up coming. What's wrong, son? Told him. They called the MS out there. They checked it. All the body side, everything good. He said, you just been working so hard, you need to get in the back and lay down. The plant manager pulled me out. I laid down. I left Friday, 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 1 o'clock that morning, headed home. I had enough energy. You know, I laid down, slept at the plant for like about eight hours in my truck. Got up feeling good. Man. Went home. Got home 5.30 that morning, took a shower, got out, laid around the house. I know my mama knows when they wake up. My mama came. It was around 8.30, 9 o'clock. I tried to get out of the bed. I couldn't lift up. Couldn't even walk. Jeez. Couldn't even walk. At that time, I wasn't in no pain like for us, real bad pain. So, well, mama and them ended up calling the ambulance. As on my way going to the ambulance, I mean, uh, on the way to the hospital, the flowers, my head get hurt real bad. I'm talking about pain I never experienced in my life. And it just went from that point. They checked me for COVID. They checked me for the flu. They came back. They were like, it's, it's not that. They were poor, you know. I was I was in so much pain. Couldn't turn my head hardly. Everything, if they moved, I'm hollering. And, 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 they, and they're like, we got that men. So at this time, I'm, I'm, I'm fussing. You know, y'all ain't doing nothing. You know, I'm at the hospital, y'all need to do something. They gave me something, knocked me out again. I don't know what it was. <laughs> and uh, long story short, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm trying to speed it up on the whole up time, but God has been good to me. Amen. But, and, 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 and I woke up in the, in the room, and I'm looking at my dad. What am I? I ain't know what I was in. Y'all, I'm telling you, some type of pain. And it's, and it's something else. When you feel like, and you lie on your back, and you feel like your life is finna be over. And all I can think was, Lord, I could have did this more. Repenting just wasn't good enough for me. But I was reminded of, 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 of the shortcomings of putting in work of what I've been what I could have been doing for God. And I felt like that would keep me out of the kingdom. Unfinished work. You know, I was I was able, like when I was 16 years old, I came face on with death and God delivered. I was unconscious then, but I was watching, I was conscious in mind. And I was experiencing this, thinking that I'm going to die, even though I was able to repent, but it just wasn't good enough for me. You know, and I looking at my dad, I was fussing. Daddy, what is that taking things out of my arm, But, and there's something else. When the doctor come in, they puzzle. They don't know what's going on with you. All I can do is just hurt, 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 cry, 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 talk to the Lord, talk to the Lord, talk to the Lord. And they found out that Monday evening, Monday night, was with a spinal meningitis, the bacteria type, and it spread it all over me. And to my brain, that was swelling my brain up. But I want you to know God was there the whole time. He was right there. So when I, when I was my uncle called me, he said, now Chris, God done did that for you, so what you gonna do for me? I said, what I'm gonna do, I need to find my place. Even if it's outside picking up the trash. Whatever God got for you to do, you need to do it for the best of your ability. Hey! He's a healer! Yeah. <laughs> 
kind of fear him. I said, who is this? And he stuck his head in the door. He said, how you doing, Miss Mary? Nobody knew my name is Mary Ann, <laughs> and I hate it. <laughs> anyway, it's Mary Ann. Now he said, how you doing, Miss Mary? I said, I'm doing great, how are you? I said, what in the world are you doing up here? He said, Miss Mary, I'm going through, and I needed your prayer. And he said, I drove from Newby all the way to Abbeville. And he said, well, I got here. I said, God, let that woman be at home. Amen. Let me tell you something. All you got to do is let your light shine. Amen. You ain't got to do nothing to turn these lights on and let them shine. Amen. You ain't got to say a whole lot. Amen. You just live what you preach. Yeah. And let your light shine. Yeah. Glory yeah. 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 And the young man came on in and he sat down. And he began to talk to me, tell me he had lost his dad. Uh -huh. And he said his heart was heavy. Uh -huh. But he said he just needed something. And he said, I just thought about you. Yeah. And he come on in and he got closer to me in the sofa. Mm -hmm. And praise God, he just stole it all more than He said, Mr. Mary, just go to work. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, we began to pray. Mm -hmm. And I could feel his infirmity pass. Mm -hmm. When he went, we went to prayer, I went to boo hooing. And he did to see. I tell you, God is a good God. Yes, yes. And then the same thing happened the next day, and the next day, every day, there was somebody that God put in my path to pray for. Yes, see. So it ain't all about trying to get a service. Huh? You can work for home. It don't make no different way. You can work for home. Amen. You know one thing about the Holy Ghost? Some people think you got to be in the church for it to work. It's accessible to you. Amen. You might be in the grocery store. Amen. You might be in the home. Yes. You might be in the Lord's house. And you might be to access the Holy Ghost. Amen. It's just a prayer way. Yes, sir. Don't make no difference where you're at, where you go, who you be. Yes. You can access it. Yes, you Because you don't know who you got to pray for. Amen. That's a sad thing if somebody comes to you for prayer. And you go, I got to bring them all the way to the church and don't see you. But Jesus said, I've got to go away. But I'm going to leave you comfort. Amen. He said, I will send a comfort. Jesus. But you the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And lead you and guide you through all truth. Yeah. He left you and he left me. Yes, he did. For something to work with. Amen. Yes. And I tell you what it's an hour. If you try to do, you better work it. Yeah. You better use it. Yeah. You better use it. Yeah. You use it. Yeah. Yeah. God has given us in this last day. Amen. And I'm still so grateful to be in the house of God. Amen. To see your face. Yeah. One thing about that, it has to roll me. Yeah. I'm walking. Amen. God is still in the yeah. yeah. And I appreciate every one of you and appreciate Pastor Anderson. Amen. I appreciate this ministry. Because yeah. I tell you what, when you got a shepherd like we got, if you have ears to hear, you're going to get strength. And she, she prays for each and every one of us, showing us how to fight the devil. Amen. It's on prayer, prayer. and a dedicated life. Amen. Amen. And if you keep on living, what are you young or what are you old? Amen. Something's going to hit your door. But you're going to need the God to move with you. Amen. And you're going to wish to God that you to hit this altar. Yeah. And you to pray through. Yes. Like the pastor been preaching all these years. Amen. But we didn't receive it. Come on. Because we've been throwing it around. Yes. But it's going to come to you. You keep saying good morning. Hey. Come on. I said I'm too young. Come on. I'm going to say this. You got fat grades, skinny grades, long grades, young grades, old grades. People die. Yeah. People are dying without God. Amen. And there should be no hesitation. Amen. None of us this morning. No hesitation. Amen. What kind of life did you want to lead? Amen. From death and sickness to comfort. Come on. Show us them lights in prayer. This is the hour of fasting. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need God. Yeah. You don't let nobody tell you you ain't going to need God. Amen. Come on. You're not too young to be saved. And not too young to go to hell. Amen. And not too young to die. Amen. Uh, Amen. Make up your mind. That's it. Make up your mind. This ain't no party no more. Uh -huh. Ain't nobody entertaining nobody 
no more. Amen. 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 Amen.
Jesus. And I didn't get no further than brothers. But God was teaching me that. Hallelujah. He was teaching me something. Yes. That prayer works. Yes. Just like it worked through you. Amen. He could work through me. Yes. He taught me that. Yes. Amen. When I got over to Brunnage, I got so sick like I getting pneumonia all over again. I didn't have no energy and I just fell on my knees. And I pulled myself up on the bed and I began to talk to the Lord. You did it for the woman of God through prayer. Lord, I'm asking you one more time just to do it for me. Through the prayers that I'm speaking, Lord, God help me to recover. And I'm telling you about three o'clock that morning, just as I, my eyes closed, bing, about three o'clock that morning, bing, my eyes opened back up again. And when they opened up that time breakfast, my energy came back to me. I got out of that truck and I began to walk around. I hadn't had an appetite in a long time. My appetite came back to me. I'm telling you, God is a healer. But you got to believe him. You got to believe him. God taught me just as you believe when she prayed, believe yourself when you pray. Just believe him. That's something Deacon Davis taught me. Bro, heal. A long time ago, back in about 2003, after I had to come, he said, Bro, you know, the greatest thing to pray is believing what you pray for. Yeah. And amen, I've been holding on ever since. Yeah. I'm still holding on. Yeah. Lord God, I just give God praise and I give him praise and I give him glory. Just clap your hands yeah. for the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. My Thank God, with some great testimonies in the house. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody else before we move on? Thank you, Lord. Got a testimony. Thank you, Lord. If not, we're just going to move on. Praise God. We don't want to miss nobody if they got one they want to share. But we thank God for all the testimonies this morning. Thank you, Lord.